All right, guys, so another unboxing. Uh, this is the Panasonic AWHE40SKPJ9. Try saying that four times fast. So this is a really awesome, small, remote-controlled, pan, tilt, zoom, camera. Easy, robotic. So we're going to open it up before I get into too many of the features. I haven't opened this before, so we're going to be getting the raw, unscripted, and unedited. So we have two of these, and they are replacing two of their three uh, Sony NX5s. The first thing up with that, we have a power cord. We're not going to use this, and I'll explain why in a moment. But this thing is actually quite small. So we have paperwork, instructions, um, notes on additional functions, and a whole lot of Japanese. So put that over there. We have the other end of the power cord. We have a mounting base with screws. Actually, we'll show that to your camera too. And then the unit itself, which is so cute. Isn't that cute? It's hard to believe how far uh, camera technology has come in just a short amount of time. So, I'm going to figure out how to open this thing. Oh, there we go. Opens from the top. Shocking. Alright, so here it is. Isn't that just darling? So this thing will actually rotate around and tilt. And then on the back here, so this is the SDI version because they already have SDI cabling. So that is why we went with this option. They do have an HDMI version of this. So we have a um, retention clip here that we are going to use, that we would use to ensure that the power never becomes unplugged. Um, so we also have uh, network and control. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to power the unit off of the Ethernet using a PoE. They also have RS-232C, so that's an additional control. You can run audio in, you've got USB connection uh, for configuration. You've got RS-422 here. So I'm actually unsure of whether we're going to plug into this one or that one. But essentially what we're going to do is our PoE um, switch is actually going to allow us to combine the control signal, so the RS-422, with the power that sends it over the Ethernet line. So we're just going to have two cables that connect this thing. We're going to have the Ethernet with the power, and we're going to have the SDI. How cool is that? So gone are the days of the Visca cables, which are just ridiculously expensive anyway. And we get, oh, I guess we're going into the Ethernet port. It says right here, do not connect PoE cable to the RS-422 port. So at the most, we're going to have three cables. We're going to have the RS-422. This goes to the controller, which we'll show you in a separate video. And then we have the power. And then we have the SDI. So still, three cables. It's not that bad. We don't have to have an electrician give us a, an electrical uh, outlet right next to the camera. So that is saving a lot of money right there. This uh, camera has a 30 times optical zoom, which is ridiculous when you see how tiny it is. But, I mean, that's the way things are going. So with that, uh, again, we have two of these. We're, we're going to have a manned camera um, at the back right. Um, I'm a big, big, big fan of hybrid systems. There's no, nothing wrong with taking advantage of newer technology like PTZ, but I can tell you that you do not want to use one of these to follow very um, active speakers who walk a lot. Uh, it's just not going to be easy at all. It's going to be very, very difficult to keep up with them. Um, and so, at the most, you can use these on the sides, maybe get some interesting angles, but I would say never, ever, ever get rid of your center camera uh, that is manned by an actual camera operator. So with that, we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching.